useful for him because he kinda called a duel, so he's not summoning monsters. Nine, summon monster nine he has, and he's not using uh, poisons. Okay, so you rolled 31? Yep. Okay, so you're gonna take half from this. Yeah, you're taking half from that, half of All right. that. So that's 35... 37. 30. Oh. Yeah. Uh, also, for the rest of the party, sorry, we are focusing on the duel, but it will be impossible for me to switch between duel and normal fight with the rest of the Phantom Group. I want to finish the duel and then we'll get to uh, the fight with the rest of the Phantom Group. Because Ginkiro might be even able to help you or, or not. We shall see. But we are getting close to it. This is the like closing crescendo, the the grand finale of this duel, and that was the spell, mm -hmm. and he unleashes full attack uh, with yeah with his rapier, one claw and one bite, of course with smiting good. That's a claw. And I think that's a hit. Do you still have mirror images? Uh, I have two left. Okay. Okay, then plus 30. Oh my god. No. Plus 25, plus 20. Uh, 47 and 45. 36 hits. So, how many potential hits? 3. Okay, so how many mirror images you have left? 3. And uh, not 2? Uh, two? 2. Okay, so I roll 1d3. Okay, so 47 is a hit. Then the second... Uh, and only 1d2. Okay. So, two hits. Right. I think that's a hit with one hit with rapier. No, wait. No. Uh, hit with a claw and hit with a bite. Yeah. Yeah, hit with the claw and hit with the bite. Okay. So, that's one d6 plus n. Okay, that's from the claw and from the bite is... So he like gets close and instead of just slashing you with a weapon, he gets so like into rage that he, he he's part of the fighters animalistic and he just starts like biting and like slashing bits of your skin using his claws and like biting parts of your skin and the muscle with his teeth. And just like Not right. tasting good. And that was his time. And I'm guessing unless you fuck this up <laughs> He will die, Mister. All right. And uh, as a final uh, action, Genker is going to uh, position himself on uh, since we're on uh, in top of the sky. We're going. He's going to uh, uh, stab. Uh, the shadow in the heart and just both of them plummet towards the cathedral down to the ground I mean you are still in the cathedral sorry if oh. you didn't understand me like the sky not the sky the selling of the cathedral a part of it and the part of the back wall behind you what's get blown but because the cathedral that this base is covered by some sort of magical air bubble or something nothing oh, okay. happened to you okay just the uh thought of something else. Uh, yeah, sorry. Then... Uh, uh, Genkiro is going to uh, close his eyes. He's going to think back uh, uh, to the memories of his childhood, of the village. And uh, he's going to uh, uh, open up and uh, as the uh, 
Phantom looks at him, he can see uh, all of the ghosts of the villagers that he uh, they killed behind him. And he's... Uh, Genkaro is going to do a uh, running thrust towards uh, uh, his body, uh, particularly his chest. Basically, I'm trying to stab his heart. Yep. You know what? Don't roll usual attack, just roll until you get not 20. <laughs> Alright. This'll take a while. <laughs> I don't know. Like. It's Genkiro we're talking about. <laughs> we have all hey, the Hey, 4th roll and, and he makes it. Ah. And yeah, you get like, just for shits and giggles, just you can roll full damage. I mean, not full damage, like, just roll the damage from the critical hit plus sneak attack. A sneak attack is not multiplied by critical hit. Alright. So, 80, 10, for plus That and was a uh, shit damage roll. <laughs> All right, 39 and 36. So 75. Yeah, he's at minus 40. So as you thrust him, like when he saw the, during the entire last sequence, he was just laughing, like, <laughs> he's like, like cackling like a madman and like losing his breath. And, and then he's like, <laughs> Gives you just a smug smile, and he doesn't even have strength, like, and he, like, coughs blood, like, his entire mouth is covered in blood, so he doesn't even have strength to, like, say anything, like, one last beating retort. And then something strange happens. Like, you realize it's getting darker in the cathedral, like, the few lights that were in, you get the feeling that they are still on, but it's, like, getting darker and darker, and then you, you know that this person in front of you is dead. But, like, his eyes, like, go, like, completely dark, like, color of the void. And there's a smile on that face that your intuition tells you it's not his. And he's like, ah, it was such a nice fight to watch. And, hmm, sadly this puppet, his time is ended. But what a great puppet it was. Uh, say hello to Aoti from me, Genkira, will you? And then the darkness disappears. And the body crumbles to dust or something? And unless you want, like the body, like cut, like falls, not really crumples to that, just his dead body just falls down. You see that it's getting like, as you killed it, he looked like young. So as you killed it and after that scene, like the entire body looks significantly older, like it's getting aged forcefully or something like that yeah. he was magically prevent from aging and yeah he, like, basically looks like the old man. uh uh what was it called uh that indiana jones villain yeah so yeah uh, he doesn't crumple to dust but he looks like a old man right now his wings are gone his scales on the skin are also gone so yeah uh so what's your, in, like, the first right after the battle, immediate aftermath for Genkiro? You see the body of your sworn nemesis enemy in front of you. Basically, uh, Genkiro is going to lower his guard for a moment and uh, walk over to his mother. Which uh, he hopes uh, wasn't destroyed in in the battle? Mm, she wasn't destroyed in the battle, but as you focus on her and get closer to her, you see that from the bottom, uh, like, you know, as the, like, sometimes in animes there's, like, process when, uh, like, uh, in fate, the servants dispelling. Basically, from the bottom up, slowly, uh, her body, artificial, not artificial, her body, uh, used as a puppet, is getting, like, uh, dissolved into particles of light. But as it happens, like as you come closer, like she she actually blinks. This is the first reaction you see from when you fo found her, and you see recognition in her eyes. And there's and but there's no no tears in the eyes, probably because those eyes cannot are not able to hold tears anymore. 
and like sh her face is not changing like she can like because she's so much stitching and whatnot she cannot move her muscles so she cannot smile but in her eyes you see recognition and like happiness all right uh Genker is going to uh hug his mother one last time until she's uh, disappeared Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes some time, and as it was happening, like you realize, because after the quiet that this battle was, apart from like occasional like slow rambling and like cracks, like forming cracks in the walls on the cathedral, you realize that in the deeper part of the cathedral, probably like behind the altar, there's maybe like some uh, hallway or something leading deeper down or something, and you hear like faint sounds of like a crafter. Bang, bang, like constantly working on something. Like a hammer and anvil? Yep, hammering the anvil and other stuff. Alright, uh, seeing as how I'm... Uh, I guess the uh, process of the potion has worn off by now. Mm. Uh, yes. Alright. So, negative 30 health, All right, and uh, Genkiro is uh, slowly and cautiously going to uh, uh, watch his uh, dueling weapon uh, turn into ash. Yep. And uh, he's going to redraw his crimson bluff and investigate the noise. Okay, so it's getting closer to the noise. Uh, as you still have a chance to just turn around and go away, you can make a uh, knowledge, uh, either arcana or engineering. Uh, engineering, in that case. So, on the 20 plus 21 30 mm, okay with 30 you know that sooner or later probably sooner this cathedral and like because of the effects of the battle maybe because uh, the phantom leader was one of the pillars supporting the magical energies going around this cathedral this their base their main base you see more and more cracks forming you will have time to go there investigate and probably deal with the crafter and uh, but like returning and going through the portal back might be winging it uh, so you have two options like you can go investigate deal with the crafter and then hope for the best you will be able to get back before this entire place crumbles to pieces and gets vacuumed into space or you can just turn around and leave Oh. There I mean, is with the thirty. You think there's high chance that whoever is here left will also not survive the imin not immediate but imin imminent like s upcoming uh, like crumbling destruction of this correct. cathedral. Imminent is the correct. Imminent. Mm. All right. Uh, since Genker is the typical good guy leader type, he's going to. Uh, he probably thinks that it could possibly be a prisoner and uh, he's going to uh, run down uh, as fast as he can uh, knowing that he puts his own life at risk uh, and uh, okay let's yeah. see how, how quick you'll be able to get there. normally I would say to uh, roll athletics but instead of athletics eh, fortitude uh, 42. And depends on the how high it is, we shall see how quickly you can get there. 34. Oh yeah, almost not 20. So you get, get there very quickly and yeah, you find not as impressive uh, room for crafting as the Vulcan has it, but still kinda cool. And then you find somebody that can only be tag on the crafter. The unholy abomination of like several different templates, like half dragon, half giant, half something else, 
which just looks like he doesn't look as a fighter at all. He just holds his tools and he's just like making men, making them, making them, making them and just not focusing on anything else. And then he's like, Bleh. he's like making sounds like a retard. No offense to like, she's like, Bleh. and if you get a glimpse on his face, he's basically like a, the experiments, because probably his result of experiment, because he is what he is, he's like, like, not really realizing what's going on around him. She's, he, he's just doing the job that was ordered him. He's moving slowly, he's like, walk to do. Uh, but hello? from the intel you have, he's undeniably another member of Phantom Troop. Oh. To him. I mean, what? I mean, that was the intel you got, that the group definitely has dedicated crafter. The person that only yeah. focuses on crafting items and whatnot. If he's another member, uh, are there any items uh, available? Uh, just laying there? Uh, roll d5. Uh, roll 1d5. Four. Okay, there are four items lying in there and I need to check something. Ah, goddammit, there should be a uh, magic item database, no. Magic... <laughs> because I, there was a freaking nice, uh, like, uh, table <laughs> with stuff. The table's really nice, Ginker. You have to take it before everything goes to hell. <laughs> oh no, okay, so... Randomly... Randomly... Uh, crater major. Uh, okay, so for each of the four items, uh, okay, so let's begin with the first item. Uh, roll D100. Or bet. Oops. No, just oh, better yet. <laughs> roll for the one hundred. I'm gonna check all the items at once. Roll for uh, the hundred. Okay, so 30. thirty. <laughs> Thirty-seven, thirty-seven. What the hell? <laughs> okay, thirty on the first one. You get. Uh, Serpent Belt Grater. You, could you write them up, all of them items? Mm. After you told what they are. Thank you. I'm gonna copy them. Alright. Then on the second one, which was 37. Mm -hmm. uh, t -t 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 okay, so you get that thing. Then after 37, there was another 37. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. And this and Hi. the last one was 87. Who was sniper goggled? You got really lucky with that last item. I mean, it was me who decided like which category of wondrous items you get, but still. <laughs> oh, that one's really good. Gauntlet of the Weapon Master. It's really, it's a really cool weapon, but not that good to be honest. <laughs> like good weapon, but good item. Worth a lot. Yeah, it's worth a lot, but it's mostly cool. And yeah, greater heroism it also gives three times a day. Uh, yeah, and uh, as you get the items, the cr crackling gets louder, and then the, the crafter, like, at one point, like, oh, and just looks at... Ooh, I, I activate my ring of greater invisibility and bolt. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So probably Back as you bolt from there and as you are going closer and closer, the from behind there is like a, like, like a crash, like a s massive part of ceiling just crashed something. There's like a plex, and there's like a quiet moan, oh, and there's quiet, and then. You just bolt through the portal, who is convincingly still active, and you arrive back at the scar base of the Phantom Troop. And I have to take a break. After a break, we will <laughs> no, like, deal with the rest of the Phantom Troop.